Hey beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. This is Business Connect. My name is Roy. If this is your first time dropping by our channel, here on this channel, I do videos about my life in China. I share information about how foreigners survive here in China, how international students survive here in China. And I also share information about how to get admission in Chinese universities. So if it's your first time dropping by on this channel, you don't want to leave the video without smashing that subscription button join it us on the channel so that when i bring videos like this youtube will notify you and you will be the first to watch our videos and if you're interested in studying in china at the end of this video i will drop our contacts and you can contact us and we can guide you we can help you secure admission and scholarship opportunities in different chinese universities so in today's video i'll be talking about the chinese government scholarship and i'll be answering 10 questions or letting you know about 10 different things that a lot of students always ask about the Chinese government scholarship. The first thing you have to know about the Chinese government scholarship is that it is offered by the Chinese Scholarship Council and it is a unit directly under the Ministry of Education of the People's Republic of China and the scholarships include free tuition, free accommodation and a monthly stipend of up to 3,500 RMB per month. Can I apply for a bachelor's program under the CSC scholarship? The answer is yes, you can apply for a bachelor's program, but all bachelor's program for the CSC are taught in Chinese. Thus, you must have at least HSK4 to apply for a CSC scholarship for a bachelor's program. But if you're applying for a master's or a PhD program, there are more op there are more uh, chances for English taught programs and Chinese taught programs. Thus, the CSE has age limit. The answer is yes, the CSE has age limit. For bachelor's program, you must be less than 25 years old. For master's program, you must be less than 35 years old. And for PhD programs, you must be less than 40 years old from the date of your application. How is the CAC government scholarships offered before admission or after admission? CAC scholarships are offered before admission, which means that once you have the scholarship and have the admission, you don't need to pay any fees as opposed to other scholarships that you can get it once you're already admitted and you're enrolled in the university then they can give you a financial scholarship that's not how the cac functions you get the scholarship before your admission so at the time of registration you don't have to pay any fees when is the deadline for cac applications usually cac applications are open from december to march every year but different universities will have their different deadlines but generally the last date is usually the 31st of march so if you're preparing to apply for a cac scholarship it's usually between december and march so now at the time i'm recording this video we're in february and we're at the heart of admission or at the heart of registration this is the time you need to apply for your cac scholarship if you are interested is hsk a requirement that cannot be skipped you know what HSK is? HSK is the Chinese proficiency exam. And like I said, if you're applying for a bachelor's program, you need at least HSK4. If you that is a bachelor's program taught in Chinese, you need HSK4. If you're applying for a master's program taught in Chinese, you need HSK5. And if you're applying for a PhD program taught in Chinese, you need hsk6 but if you're applying for a master's program or a phd program taught in english you don't need hsk exam or you don't need any requirement for hsk is arts or toffle a requirement for the cac application the answer is it depends if your native language is english you don't need arts or toffle as a requirement if English is not your official language or your mother tongue, then you need IELTS or TOEFL as a requirement or you need a document to prove that you can take lessons in English freely without any translation.
which means that your university or your high school needs to provide a document to prove to the university that to prove to the university that you can take lessons in English. What is the appropriate GPA to apply for CAC scholarship? Normally, Chinese universities will always go for students with at least 70% plus. But since it's a scholarship is competitive, the higher scores you have, the better for you. But even if you have less than 70%, don't be discouraged to apply. Still apply. And maybe you have other recognitions like maybe in sports or in technological innovation or something that you can prove to the university that you're a good student. I think you can document it and, and attach it to your application. This can also give you more scores in your application. If you can't have your graduation certificate before the applicable deadline of the CAC application, this is what you can do. You can ask your school to provide like a graduation certificate or to provide a document that proves that you will be graduating by this time. And that document can be in the place of your diploma. And once you have your diploma, you can go ahead to upload that in the system. Now, what are the documents that I need to prepare or that you need to prepare to apply? Normally, you need to have a passport, you need your diploma, you need your transcripts, you need your medical certificate. And remember, the medical certificate is a format that you need to download from the HSK, from, sorry, from the CSC website and take it to a recognized hospital in your country to do the medical examination. And also you need to write an essay or to write uh, why you need this scholarship. And if you're doing a, uh, a master's or a PhD program, you need to have like a summary of your research program. So all these documents, you have to upload them in the scholarship website and wait for your results. If you have any questions or if there's any point that you need more clarifications on, please let's, let us know in the comment section below or if you really want details and you've in, uh, or you're interested in applying for this scholarship, I'm going to leave a contact on the screen. Contact us for further information to help you in your scholarship application process. This is Business Connect. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And if until now you're not yet our subscriber, don't go away without hitting that subscription button. Join us on the channel so that when we bring videos like this, you will be notified. It's Business Connect. I'll see you in our next video. Peace out.